Hey fire signs, welcome to the monthly crystal healing video for November for fire signs, Air, Leo, Sag Arrow, 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 Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So I had to take the day off yesterday. My allergies and asthma and throat chakra, all that really got the best of me. I did not have a voice. I, I was really hoping that through the course of the day that would change. And it didn't, but I'm glad I took the time because clearly I sound a lot better. The more I talk, though, you're, you're going to notice it's going to get a little raspy, okay? So I got my water, got my liquids with me, but just bear with me if I have to stop and kind of deal with that. But I do feel a lot better today. And happy Halloween, by the way, for those watching this the day that I post it. So the way this works for anybody who's not used to these videos that I do, I basically use the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle deck to see what crystals you'll need for the month. And this will be, like I said, from the month of November. Then we're going to pull some tarot cards and see why you need these certain crystals. Now, no matter how many times I do these videos, I'm always going to read the descriptions for these crystals for you. Oh, no, there we go already. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm always going to read the descriptions of the crystals because we get new people all the time. And not to mention these are very, very general. They're not going to be for everyone. So I read the description so you can decipher for yourself if you really need these crystals or not. Okay, that's the only reason I do it. And also that's why I also pull cards if I can talk straight. I also pull cards so that you can also decipher if this is your situation or not, okay? All right, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Aries. Aries, you're calling me. You're calling me. Let's do Aries first. Of course, you guys would want to go first. <laughs> I get it, Aries. I get it. What crystals do my Aries need for the month of November? Hmm. I just heard trials and tribulations, Aries. You got quite a few cards. Oh, no, no, that's not too, that's too many. We're not taking all those. I thought it was just like three and it was like six. If they want to come back out, they'll come back out. But Smoky Quartz definitely wanted to make an appearance here. Oh, yeah, trials and tribulations. Um, Aries, you got some shadow work going on. It's a bad case of that going around. <clears throat> some of you definitely have some shadow work going on here, okay? Uh, let's see what else wants to come out. What other crystals do my Aries need for the month of November? So you guys can be all the Scorpio. It's a lot of Scorpionic energy. We are in the Scorpio season, so not surprising there. Um, it is your sister sign, your Mars sister sign. <coughs> Already? So sorry, guys. Already. Mm. Okay, Aries, back to you. Oh, what other crystals do my Aries need? For the month of November. <clears throat> God damn it, first video of the day too. What other crystals do my Aries need for the month of November? What other crystals do my Aries need for the month of November? It's so interesting what they're showing me. They're actually showing me jousting. Like, you know, like the, you know, old school renaissance, like, you know, jousting on a, on a horse and everything. Um, you could be competing right now, Aries. You could be competing, and I think you're learning a lot about yourself within this competition that you're finding yourself in, whether it's romantic or work-related or, like, actual sports-related. It's competition. I'm getting competitive energy around you. What other crystals do my Aries need for the month of November? Okay. Last card. Ooh, Aura Light. Okay, I'm actually wearing that one right here. Aura Light. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So you guys got two crystals here so far. Not too bad. Usually when there's only, like, one or two usually indicative of a fairly good month okay um there have been a couple signs already that have gotten like four um but let's go ahead and read off smoky quartz for you guys smoky quartz transmute transmutational magic a stone for karmic healing smoky quartz celestial opens into different dimensions and brings powerful transmutation you have a powerful survival instinct and ability to go where others dare not transmute the past realize that darkness is not evil facing your deepest fears turns them into golden gifts you know that death is only a transformation into another state of being. Take responsibility for your life. Don't let others take control. Be patient. Much stirs beneath a calm surface. Total transformation is close. It may entail, entail a trip to the underworld. Your shadow becomes your bright, brightest gift. Toxic emotions turn to positive regard. Ground your efforts in the everyday, but retain contact with higher realms. Success comes through dedication and trust in your abilities. Mentors are available. Some of you are definitely in some kind of competitive uh, situation here release yourself from old enchantments no part of you is evil or bad embrace your shadow leads you <clears throat> excuse me 
Embracing your shadow leads you to healing hidden in the darkest reaches of yourself. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. It's great for the earth star, the root, the sacral, the soul star, and the stellar gateway. Great for Scorpios and Cappies and for total transmutation. Yeah, I thought I felt some shadow work there going on with you, Aries. And definitely some competitive stuff going on with that smoky quartz as well. Now, Auralite, the snow, the snow, what's a snow, the snow. The Soul Connector. Auralite 23 has a sedative effect on the mind, stilling it so that pr profound healing and conscious connection with your soul, the universal mind, and higher dimensions occurs. Today is Mercury retrograde, guys. <laughs> you are a multi layered soul on a course of accelerated spiritual growth. You came to Earth to share your knowledge. You have an ability to move between different dimensions to anchor new vibrations into the Earth plane. The slowness and seeming impossibility of this task have brought disillusionment and discontent, but do not despair. Raise your own consciousness and others will follow. Recognize you are an in integral part of humanity. Center yourself in inner peace and connect to your higher mind before making a decision. Beneficial contacts come through friends and families. It is not so much what you know as whom that counts now, that includes higher beings. Aligning to as above, so below, as without, so within, leads to a sense of rightness and immense well-being. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high, great for the soul star and stellar gateway. So those are really important chakras apparently for you right now, Aries, and it's great for aquas and reconnection of ego, soul, and higher consciousness. You're going through a lot of realignment here, Aries. For those that are resonating with this, this is definitely about some realignment, uh, transmuting some ego energy, some shadow work, some shadow energy, and there's this competitive energy that I'm still kind of getting with you. And I feel like whatever competitive situation you're you're finding yourself in, it's bringing this stuff to the surface for you guys. Okay, so let's pull some cards, Aries, and see why you need these crystals. Let's see what's going on. Why do my Aries need these crystals for the month of November? They keep I keep hearing Scorpio. I really keep hearing Scorpio. Ooh, Eight of Wands, Sag Energy. So a hell of a lot of communication. This is unstoppable. I'm getting unstoppable, unstoppable, unstoppable communication. What if like it's a race to communicate? It's like all this competitive racing, jousting energy with you, Aries. I feel like there's a there's a race to communicate something. It's almost like times of the essence. Times of the essence. There's a lot of forward movement happening right now, Aries, and it's kind of like there's no yeah, there's no stopping it. And there's no choice. Interesting. This is very ominous. Uh, any other messages pertaining to why Aries need these crystals for the month of November? Yeah, unstoppable, unstoppable. Whatever communication and movement is about to happen for you, Aries, there's no stopping it. Whether you're prompting it or you're just kind of along for the ride or you're receiving it, there's no stopping it. I feel like you're a part of it, though. I feel like you're a part of it. Most likely the initiator. Most likely the initiator. Any other messages for Aries? Why these crystals are needed for the month of November? Why do Aries need these crystals for the month of November? Ooh, because you're getting towards your destiny, Aries. This is Aquarian energy, the star. Uh, they are unstoppable. Yeah, it's fate. It's fate. Aries, whatever you're finding yourself in, again, I keep getting competitive energy. Whatever you're finding yourself in, is it is unstoppable. It's unstoppable. It's part of your destiny. And there is healing that can take place here. It's requiring a lot of you. It's requiring a lot of you is what I'm getting with that. It's requiring a lot of you. And you're having to face a lot of yourself here. Keep in mind, this could be someone you're connecting with as well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a challenge and it's unstoppable. And you got to run with it. You gotta just run with it. Let's see. Oh my God, four of wands, Aries energy. Ooh, Aries, where are you headed? <laughs> Aries, for some of you, this is like, this is a destined relationship or destined commitment. It's also a foundation, okay? You're in destined event as well. Destined event. Um, Aries, my God. Okay, whatever competitive situation you're finding yourself in, you're going to end up in some kind of foundation, some kind of destined foundation, whatever foundation is to you. It's something that's built. It could be a career. It could be a house. It could be a relationship, even just a friendship. I am getting a destined event, though. You might meet someone at an event, Aries. You might meet someone at an event and you have to do all the shadow work before you get there. Wow. OK. OK. I'm also getting like a ceremony. 
someone, some of you might be getting an award for something, an award for your hard work. Hard work is required no matter where you're ending up here, Aries. Why else do my Aries need these crystals for the month of November? I'm hearing September. Something might have happened in September. Why else do my Aries need these crystals for the month? I'm keep hearing September for the month of November. Why else do my Aries need these crystals for the month of November? Let's see what we got here. Two more cards came out. Wow. Wow, Aries. This could definitely be revolving around work with that Three of Pentacles energy, Capricorn. Five of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy here. It's funny, I was speaking with so much Scorpio energy, and that's the only card that's out here. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, Three of Pentacles is also collaborative energy. It's building something. And what did I say? You're going to end up in a foundation, and a foundation is something that's built. This is the makings of a foundation. Before you get to the Four of Wands, you have to get to the Three of Pentacles in order to build a Four of Wands energy. But Five of Cups in reverse, it's something that's really cheering you up and making you happy. And like I said, a lot of you will be dealing with dark energy. Uh, and it's really just your shadow side, your ego. Some healing you got to do, right? And you will heal. You will, but it's a challenge to face these aspects of you, Aries. You're having a little bit of a tough time with it, but you're going to deal with it. You're going to deal with it. You're going to find a way out of it. And I feel like once you do that kind of work, someone's going to come in. Some kind of destined meeting, destined event, destined person, destined foundation will start to be built and will present itself once you deal with these aspects of yourself. Wow, <laughs> Aries. Overall energy. We have the Eight of Cups, Piscean energy. This is leaving those aspects of yourself behind. Leaving, not exactly leaving behind your shadow self. We need our shadow sides. It's more like integrating it. Integrating it, understanding it, bringing it to a healthy state. Bringing your ego to a healthy state. And once you do that, you're leaving behind the stuff that doesn't serve you in your shadow side and in your alignment because you're reaching alignment for yourself. And look exactly where you're going. Six of Wands, Jupiter, Leo energy, success and attention and victory and celebration. Like I said, for some, I do feel a ceremony or some kind of an award um situation going on here for some of you congratulations to whoever that's for but to get there you're going to have to do this work you're going to have to do this work go to the underworld a little bit and these crystals will definitely help you out with that okay wow aries very nice very nice i like it i like it all right so we have leo sagittarius leo sagittarius leo let's go for leos saggies i know last but not least saving the best for last right anyway all right leos what crystals do my Leos need for the month of November? <clears throat> oh, selenite. Okay, two other signs have this. Is this Scorpio and Libra? I think it was Scorpio and Libra. And you know, I've noticed there's been a lot of stuff going on with Leo and, and Scorps and stuff. I just noticed that in readings I've done. Ah, and other readings I've seen. So selenite. Selenite. This is um this is a crystal used for enlightenment. It's a crystal that's used to uh really open up your third eye, open up your upper chakras, get more of those intuitive hits, amp up your intuition. Also a stone for protection as well. Okay. Oh Leo's. What other crystals do my Leo's need for the month of November? Leo's, I'm feeling this really heavy energy with you of anchoring. Of anchoring. I think you're aware of this. You are. You're very aware of this, Leo. You need to anchor during the month of November. You're very focused. You're very focused on something, but because you're putting so much energy into this focus, whatever it is you're focused on, relationship work, whatever, yourself, whatever, um, you're really needing to anchor and ground. There's something about it that is, um, there's an emotional component to it, and I think you can get very easily stressed out or get anxiety very easily, whatever Leo's I'm talking to with this. It's very ominous. Um, and if you anchor and ground yourself, ground yourself, you'll be able to deal with it and focus on it in the right way. That was for someone out there. Okay. What other crystals do my Leo's need for the month of November? What other crystals do my Leo's need for the month of... Oh, hold on, guys. It ran away from me. Okay. So guys, I love crystals. I'm a geology nerd. I can't always pronounce them. Okay. <laughs> so just hang in there with me. Peridot? I think that I think people say peridot. It looks like peridot to me, but peridot. 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 Oh, yeah. There's the emotion. Oh, I feel it. I feel it, Leo. Heavy, heavy emotion with whatever it is you're trying to focus on and stay anchored. And stay anchored. They keep telling me anchored. Anchored. Very specific. Anchored. A lot of emotion. 
but you're trying to let your emotions get the best of you, which is why you need to be anchored and focused right now. That's also part of it. That's also part of it. You don't want the emotions to run the show. I'm trying to stay rational about something too. What other crystals do my Leos need for the month of November? What other crystals do my Leos need for the month of November? All right, I got one more here. Ooh, Nirvana Quartz. Oh, so pretty. You know what? Actually, these two crystals together make a really, really pretty little setup there. <laughs> if any of you like to combine your crystals in a jewelry set or anything. Um, okay, Leos, let's go ahead and read these off. We'll go in order. <clears throat> Selenite, divine light. In the ancient world, selenite protected against wanderings of the mind. It invokes mental clarity and divine inspiration. Spirituality is vital for you. You are a translucent, translucent soul who moves fluidly through time. Use insights wisely. Avoid confusing past with present. You see into people's hearts to what motivates them. Do not be manipulated or too eager to please. Stand by what you know. You have the gift of clarity and mental flexibility with the power to make excellent decisions. A situation is unpredictable no matter how solid it appears. I feel like that's why you need the grounding. I really feel like that's going to be resonating for some of you during the month of November. I'll read it again. <clears throat> Hold on. <sighs> okay. Ugh. A situation is unpredictable no matter how solid it appears. Be prepared for challenges and changes. Banish confusion. Clarity is needed. Allow divine light to inspire the future. Let go of something clear to you. Oh, dear to you. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm blind. Let go of something dear to you. Parting does not mean loss of love. Reconciliation is possible. Make the first move. Overheard conversations enlighten you. Being in the flow strengthens your well-being. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. It's great for the crown, soul star, and stellar gateway. Great for Taurians and Cancers and for shining divine light on the earth. Some of you guys could be cuspers. Not necessarily, but I did just notice that. <clears throat> Okay. Ah, where'd it go? Number 14. All right. Peridot or peridot, however you want to pronounce it. <laughs> Emotional cleansing. Uh, freeze the mind from unwelcome envious thoughts and night terrors. It is transmu transmu transmutative. <laughs> transmutative and purifying you are deeply emotional and may possess uh possessively cling to the past or beat yourself up over mistakes by nature by nature jealous you have the dark you have dark thoughts jesus <laughs> detoxify your emotions learn to forgive and let go follow your own life plan without judging yourself or being envious of others you have the power to go through fiery transmutation and emerge transformed use energy wisely Recognize how outside influences operate in your life. Develop your own protection. Learn to rely on your own inner guidance. Uh, peridot or peridot, however you want to say it. <clears throat> Indicates farewells and disappointment in love. Avoid jealousy. Be assertive without aggression. You have a powerful destiny and great integrity. Money is earned from your talents. Envy and jealousy harm you as well as hurting others. The frequency of the stone is earthy to high. Great for the heart and solar plexus, and also great for Leos, Virgos, Libras, Scorps, and Sagis, and for emotional purification. Wow. All right, last but not least, Nirvana Quartz. Okay. Enlightenment. Nirvana Quartz assists in stepping off the karmic wheel, bringing light and bliss consciousness. So someone else had this. There's another sign that had this, but I don't remember who it was. Um, ooh. Ugh. Oh, sorry, guys. Allergies. Oh, man. For many lifetimes, you've been working with your karma that has now passed. There is no need for restitution or punishment or guilt. Let those go so that you recognize your full potential, receiving a download of cosmic light that transforms your being. Step off the kar karmic round and allow the karma of grace to manifest. Open yourself to receive enlightenment. Recognize this as a new beginning and fresh energy. If you are experiencing trauma traumatic times and soul challenges, relax and wait for resolution. Do not push against the river. Go with the flow. Karma is created in each moment by every thought and deed. Uplifting thoughts and positive actions ensure your future well-being. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high, great for the crown chakra and for Pisceans, and embodying enlightenment on earth. Oh my, Leo. <laughs> okay, so you're going to be going through quite the little adventure here um a lot of enlightenment oh a lot of clarity coming in for you but at the same time it seems like you're dealing with some really heavy heavy emotions and like i said i felt like you're finding yourself in a situation where you're trying to focus on how to deal with it like trying to focus on a resolution or a way out so to speak but the emotions of it can really take you over very easily and i think you already know like i said you already know to stay grounded you already know to stay anchored 
definitely focus on that definitely focus on that and for those where the emotions are getting the best of you definitely try to get those crystal i've used that crystal myself personally and it has really helped okay so let's go in the head and go ahead excuse me and see why you need these crystals for the month of november ah uh, in 2020 my mouth is gonna work again i promise <laughs> okay why do my leos need these crystals for the month of november it's something you have to be really rational about. That's what I keep getting intuitively. It's something you have to be really, really rational about. Oh my God. Oh, oh between channeling and my allergies, my God. Ugh. Why do my Leos need these crystals? I'm hearing August. Could have something with your birthday. Give me an August, Leo. <clears throat> Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of November? Something happened in August. Something happened in August or something was triggered? Triggered. Something was triggered in August is more what I'm getting. Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of November? Yeah, they keep they keep showing me the word August. It also could be someone's name. That's interesting. It could also be someone's name. Is what they're telling me. Someone has the name beginning with H. Feels like a man. Getting downloads. Um... Ah, oh, God, they're showing me all these letters. H-L-K-S. There's definitely a Simon here for somebody. As far as, like, whatever this is about for you. Definitely involves a Simon for some. Anyway, oh, God, okay. Too many downloads, Spirit, too many downloads. Um, ooh. Oh, Leo. Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire with the Ace of Cups in reverse. This is someone, oh, oh, I don't even want to say that. Someone's out of love. Someone doesn't love anymore. Someone doesn't love someone anymore. Oh, fuck. Um, this is also communicating with no love. Like, communicating with just sheer coldness. Oh, I like, sorry, I have a pit in my stomach now. Um, def I'm, Leo's God, I'm so sorry for whoever this is for. Uh, this is someone basically saying, like, I don't love you. I, I I'm seriously getting that really strongly. And that's like, I'm sorry, that's like, I know, not what you want to hear, not what you want to hear. But others, this is just communicating in a very, very cold manner. Very, very cold manner. Um, not really caring about how someone's heart is going to be, is affected. Leo, you could have been on the brunt of this. You could have been on the brunt of this. Uh, someone communicating to you so harshly that it's just like, God, do you even care? And the truth is that they don't really. Someone communicating without any care of how it affects someone's heart. They want me to say, they wanted me to say that again. Oh man, that like... I know that didn't that just get like really heavy did you just feel the weight of that no wonder you're dealing with some heavy ass emotions here leo like i said though it could be vice versa you could be communicating to someone like this could have this could also have happened in august that could have also happened in august okay i just oh i just heard tell the truth oh tell the truth oh leo okay uh why do my leos need these crystals for the month of august Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of August? I mean, geez, August, see, August, August, August. Oh my God. Uh, Page of Pentacles. Oh, sorry, that like sucked me in so hard. Page of Pentacles, Two of Wands in Reverse, Aries energy, and Judgment in Reverse, Fire energy, also Scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Someone's wondering if they made a mistake. Flat out. I think this was an event in the past. I feel like this was an event in the past. I don't think this is upcoming. I think more right now. Someone's analyzing what happened, right? Page of Pentacles is usually a student card. They usually st uh, they usually try to take on a new perspective to something, a form of study or a situation or a person. Two of Wands in reverse, a, a decision that was made, a path that was chosen, 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 and judgment in reverse, a mistake, a rift, something that needs to be reconciled. Something that needs to be reconciled. Yeah, I think I think this is how someone acted. I think this is how someone acted or something someone said. Definitely, probably August, okay? Doesn't have to be, but that came in really strong. Why else do my Leos need these crystals for the month of November? <laughs> Why else do my Leos need these crystals for the month of November? Why else do my Leos need these crystals for the month of November? All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, my. Wow. Whoa. 
Empress, Libra energy, Taurus energy, Divine Feminine energy, the Chariot, Cancerian energy, Ten of Cups, Pisces, Five of Wands, Leo energy here. This Empress with the Chariot and Ten of Cups, first of all, let's take this Five of Wands away for a minute. I feel like this is someone who is married, walking into marriage, walking into a moving in situation. This feels like a commitment. This feels like commitment energy, whether this is already existing, whether it happened in August or it was an already existing condition and then someone acted like this either way this is a very committed energy feminine energy at that could be someone's wife could also be a mother it doesn't have to be but it's very maternal very very maternal and then boom we have this five of wands conflict conflict someone thought they were committing to something that was bringing in sunshine and roses yeah sunshine and roses and then they got conflict instead fighting instead wow it's really heavy energy leo it's really heavy energy. This could also be someone moving homes. Someone could also be trying to figure out if they need to move. Uh, oh, wow, I'm getting all kinds of things. Okay, Leos, some of you, this is, was a pre-existing pre condition where someone thought they were committing to a happy home life, a happy family life, wifey, hubby, moving in together, whatever. It involved multiple people. Someone acted like this. And now that person's like, God, did I make a mistake? Because this person thought they were getting this and instead... Someone decided to talk like this at them or act like that towards them or fall out of love with them. And so instead of a happy home life, they just got conflict instead. Last card out, we have a six of swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. What do I do about this now? Like buyer's remorse is kind of what I'm getting with that, Leo. Yeah, for some, this is an empress who's ha who has buyer's remorse because instead of the happy home life they were getting, this is what they got instead. Even though this knight is trying to figure out, God, did I make a mistake? I feel like the, actually, I feel like both of them are doing this. Interesting. Because these actions are being called into question. Both of these actions are being called into question. And either way, there's no peace. There's no peace right now. Someone's trying to figure out their way out of this. Yeah. <laughs> trying to figure out their way out. Yeah, Leo. I feel like this is for you. Trying to figure out your way out of it. But it's very emotional. It's very emotional. So you're trying to figure out the most logical way. To deal with this but until you do you're not going to have very much peace of mind try to stay grounded definitely try to stay grounded for those who that's for others i am getting a move like a geographical move here to go and find the ten of cups yeah to go and find the ten of cups because wherever this empress is at now which leo i do feel like is you there's a lot of conflict there's a lot of conflict a lot of really cold uh communication a lot of cold communication and again, that, that energy of trying to figure out the way out and what actions that I've, what actions I've done have gotten me to where I am now and what mistakes did I really make that got me here? And how do I find the way out? How do I find the way out? Overall energy. Wow, there's Scorpio. Death in reverse. Death in reverse, Scorpionic energy. It's resistance. Resistance to let a major cycle die. And Leo's empresses more specifically, it's not that I don't think you want to let this die because you clearly do want out of it. You just don't know the way out and you want to do it in a way that makes sense, like a smart decision, not an emotional decision, a smart decision. But until then, a cycle is not going to end. Until you do that, a cycle is not going to end. And it's just going to be more of this until you figure out whatever decisions you want to make to get out of it. Whether you need to move, move houses Right? Whether you need to move houses, get out of a relationship, or get out of a marriage. It definitely feels like it's in, in, in the home. Definitely feels like it's in the home. And what you want to do about this individual. All the while, this individual, I think, is acting very much out of their ego. I am hearing child. Ooh, child. Ooh, Leo, you might have called this person a child. <laughs> Just saying. You might have called this person a child. I do think they're wondering about their actions, too. But this empress, I feel like, is really pretty much already come to the consensus that they have to leave. They just can't figure out how yet. Oh, Leo. Okay. That was heavy. That was real heavy. Real heavy. Um, so, Sag. <laughs> Sag, last but not least. Let's see how you guys are doing, okay? By the way, happy birthday to any November Saggies out there. All right, Sag. Let's do this. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Not taking that. That didn't feel right. I didn't see what it was. It just didn't feel like I was in the energy yet. <clears throat> Mm. Sagittarius. What crystals do my Sagis need for the month of November? 
You're definitely having a lot of fun, Sag. I'm not going to lie. I can feel it. I can feel it. You're definitely having a lot of fun in the month of November. But, you know, there's always going to be something, right? There's always going to be something. Especially if you have a birthday party and there's always that one person. <laughs> right? And not to mention the holidays here in the States. We have Thanksgiving coming up, um, which definitely will be in your season more so than Scorpio. It's really late this year. Don't even get me started on the whole timeline changes and that craziness. Like, I'm sorry. Okay, no, I guess I am going to talk about it. So total tangent, guys, especially for those who are not in the States. Um, in the United States, we've always celebrated Thanksgiving on the third Thursday. Always. Always. And I looked at the calendar because I'm like planning. I have to plan all my stuff on my phone in advance because I'm so busy. And I looked at the calendar and I was like, it's so late. Why is it at the end of the month? This is so strange. And I go online and it's like, oh, it's always been on the fourth Thursday. No, it hasn't. <laughs> no, it hasn't. It has not. The United States has always celebrated it on the third Thursday. Now, all of a sudden, we're in this timeline where it's now it's always been the fourth Thursday. Don't you know? No, it hasn't been. So that's evidence of a timeline change or um, what's like, what's the other phrase? Like the Mandela effect? An example, recent example of that. That's recent. Like, I, I know my Thanksgivings. I know. I know. Just saying. Wow. Sag, you got the Nirvana crystal too. So when I get repeats, guys, I don't repeat the description. So go ahead and watch Leo. Yeah, Leo, we just had this one, right? Yeah, Leo. So Leo had this one, Saggy. So go ahead and watch that if you want to know the description of this crystal and if you really need it for yourself or not, okay? Also, guys, if you don't want to buy these crystals, you can just buy the deck, actually, which is really cool. So again, I'll hold this up for you. If you guys want to buy the deck and not the crystals, you can actually use the cards in lieu of the crystals, which is really cool. What other crystals do my Saggies need for the month of November? What other crystals do my Saggies need for the month of November? What other crystals do my Saggies need for the month of November? Whoa, smoky quartz. Okay, Aries got this one. <laughs> God, am I have to read any of it for you, Sag? So Aries got this one. So if you guys want to la 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 la. Um, so if you guys want to hear the description for the Smoky Quartz Celestial, uh, go ahead and watch Aries if you're, if you're just using the timestamps, okay? Like I said, I don't repeat. Interesting. You guys got one from Aries and one from Leo, Sag. What other crystals do my Sagis need for the month of November? Let's see. Ooh, polychrome jasper. Okay, you got a nice little pretty one here. By the way, you guys could be a cusper, a Scorpio, a Scorpio cusper. Smoky quartz is really great for Scorpios. What other crystals do my Saggies need? Oh, there we go, Sag. There we go. Got one more out here. Rhodochrosite. Rhodochrosite. Uh, got some heart healing to do, Sag. I feel like it's family related. Why do I feel like it's family related? Um, probably because the holidays and your birthday. You know, sometimes on birthdays we can get fairly reflective, right, Saggy? And you guys are the philosophers. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just getting that, you know, you got to just do a little bit of heart healing. I do feel like, like I said, it, it's with family stuff. Um, But I feel like you're coming into some really good things. And maybe, the, oh, yeah, that's also why you're thinking about it. You're going through some changes, Sag, that's making you think about family a little bit. Whether it has to do with starting your own family or, you know, that whole generational transition that we all have to go through at some point where it's kind of like the generation beforehand moves into their next you know stage and then you move into your next stage and it's like oh man things are changing right i just heard investments i did just hear investments uh, so anyway let's go ahead and read these off but like i said i'm not going to read these two because leo had nirvana quartz and aries had smoky quartz celestial so i'm going to hold these up for you guys because these, these are your first two crystals if you guys want to hear the descriptions, like I said, go check out Leo and go check out Aries, okay? So let's go ahead and start with Polychrome Jasper. <clears throat> Ooh, belonging. Polychrome Jasper is a shaman stone that assists while traveling between worlds, offering protection while you travel. It helps you remember why you're living on Earth. You belong to a greater group, be it a family or clan. Oh, family. Okay. If you feel isolated, reach out to others out of strength rather than neediness. The stone offers you security. For companionship, choose an animal ally. Ground your efforts in the practical every, everyday world. You have the gift of meditation and see all sides of an issue. Big changes are in the offing. I knew I felt something coming in for you, Sag. 
Uh, concentrate on practical outcomes. Be down to earth, but pay attention to dreams. Balance your emotional energies and nurture yourself to find joy. Find your power ally and stay under its protection and guidance. Give assistance to others who seek freedom. <clears throat> Guard against giving away your power. Disease arises out of ancestral distress carried in DNA. Oh, there's more family stuff. Healing and forgiveness set, sent down your family line. Replace us with well-being. The frequency of the stone is earthy. It's great for the spleen, uh, spleen, earth star, and soma. Great for Leos, Libras, and Aquas, and integration and reconnection. And now my throat chakra is really unhappy, Sag. I feel like you're going to be having some conversations with people. Okay, but let's go ahead and check out this further. Rhodochrosite, a heart reviver. Rhodochrosite teaches the heart to assimilate painful feelings without shutting down, dissolving denial and identifying ongoing detrimental patterns. It offers compassionate love and forgiveness. You face the truth with loving awareness. Deep down, you feel alienated, unloved, or unappreciated. A history of sexual or emotional abuse creates dis-ease, or you may have disused, dis disused, misused, or feared your sexual power in the past. You may be repressing something you do not want to face. Irrational fears and paranoia and unacceptable emotions need to be acknowledged and transformed. Time for a change of viewpoint. Begin to seek the gifts in your experiences rather than seeing the negative effects. Check out whether what you were taught in childhood is still relevant to the person you are today. Releasing resentment from your heart creates well-being. The frequency of the stone is high, great for the heart, the solar plexus, the root, and the sacral, and for radiating unconditional love and selfless compassion. Oh, Sag. Okay. You got some family stuff going on? You got some family stuff going on. All right, so let's break this down a little bit and see why you need these crystals. Why do my Saggies need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Saggies need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Saggies need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Saggies need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Saggies need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Saggies need these crystals for the month of November? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. The investment card. It's also reevaluation and waiting, but it's in reverse. It's in reverse. Sag, you're wondering about what you've invested in so far and if it's been a mistake. You're also wondering about future investments. It's kind of like you're being presented with a very similar situation. And it's like, well, in the past, I did this and it bit me in the ass. Maybe you lent money to a family member and you're like, God damn it, I shouldn't have done that. And now they're asking for more. What do I do about this now? But I feel like, yeah, I, I feel like you're being presented with an opportunity that was similar to something you were presented with in the path, past, but you didn't like the way you invested in it previously. So you're debating if you should even bother. Ooh. You're debating you should do, if you should even bother here, okay? For some of you, this definitely involves a family member or loaning money to a family member or investing in some kind of family, something something relating to family, something relating to family. Why else do my Saggies need these crystals for the month of November? Why else do my Saggies need these crystals for the month of November? Why else do my Saggies need these crystals for the month of November? Why else do my Saggies need these crystals for the month of November? Let's see what we got here. Ew. Oh my. Oh my. Nine of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy and Eight of Wands in reverse. Sag energy. This is a whole lot of pile of shit to look at. Like, I just, I honestly, I just get pile of shit. Like, <laughs> pile of shit. I feel like this is what has happened before with whatever it is you invested in. Okay. And again, I'm getting like it was a bad investment, like a really bad return on something, whether it was an emotional return, physical, like financial, whatever it was. It was a bad investment. It was a bad investment. Nine of Cups in reverse is disappointment. I'm getting a disappointment with that. Um, and whatever you thought you were getting, it's like it was something that was a, a real wish for you. Like it was something that was like, that's what I want. Like that's going to make me happy. No, like it, it didn't. It really didn't or just didn't come to fruition the way you wanted it to. You, you had your hopes up. You had your hopes up about whatever it is you invested in in the past. 
and you either got backstabbed or betrayed or it's like your own dreams betrayed you oh that's interesting your own dreams betrayed you sometimes we think we know what we want let me let's go down this road let's go down this road Sag. sometimes we think we know what we want and at the end of the day it's not good for us or at the end of the day it's like oh damn that is so not what i thought it was gonna be for some of you that's what this is it's like my own dreams betrayed me my own wants and wishes betrayed me. I got what I wanted, but it so was not what I thought it was going to be like. Oh, there you go. It so was not what I thought it was going to be like. That was not a good use of my time, effort, or energy, or money. Okay, that's for some of you. Others, you were disappointed because someone backstabbed you, or there was a sense of betrayal here. and mis <sighs> Was it that they lied, or was it an omission? I'm, I'm actually getting miscommunication, but it was perceived as a betrayal. Interesting. Miscommunication that was perceived as a betrayal. Someone could have omitted something. Someone definitely could have omitted something. In my book, omissions are, are, are lies in my book. Let's see what else wants to come out here. I heard took back. Took back. That's going to resonate for some of you. Someone took something back. Yeah, someone took something back or like went back on their word. That's for some of you. Why else do my Sag using these crystals for the month of November? Oh, strength, Leo energy. I feel like this is, it's so funny. I just heard temper, like temperance, which is your card. I was about to say, like, I feel like you guys are tempering the situation within yourself. You're doing this internally. This is internally. Leo energy here. You're reconciling how you feel about something in, within yourself, within yourself. And there's a sense of tempering and taming about it. Again, very much have to emphasize internal, internal. Why else do my Sag using these crystals for the month of November? Why else do my Sag use, oh, there we go. No wonder you're trying to tame your, your shit. The devil, Capricorn energy, you're trying to tame the devil. <laughs> you're trying to tame the beast. Look at that. Taming the beast. I feel like these are your own inner demons, Sag. I gotta be honest. Whatever this was, Sag, whatever came of that bad investment or that bad decision that you made, I mean, it, it really, this is really like a big pile of shit. It's like, I'm getting a lot of pain. I'm getting mi mincing of words or like taking back of words or taking shit back or, you know, like, you know, words like that, words like that. And it just feels like a betrayal to you. It just feels like whatever came of it just felt like a betrayal, even if someone didn't try to betray you. It just felt like a betrayal and utter disappointment, utter disappointment. And it's really raging your inner demons here a little bit. And here you are trying to temper that. You're trying to deal with your own inner demons, Sag. You're trying to do it in silence. You're not trying to involve other people. You're not trying to burden other people with it. Very saggy, by the way. Very, very saggy. You're trying to quiet that demon, trying to quiet that inner beast. There's something about this past event that's being brought up right now. Okay, some of you, this could just be happening now, but I feel like for most of you, it's something in the past that you're being presented with again now. It's making you angry. I can feel it. It's making you angry. It's making you agitated. It's making you irritated. And you know that it's putting you in that place of like, I'm going to react irrationally. Let me temper myself. Yeah, see temper. Let me temper myself. Let me tame myself. Let me not let my temper go untempered. <laughs> I love that said. Let me not get let, let me not let my temper go untempered. Okay, let me not lose my shit on everybody involved here is kind of what this feels like. Over energy with the six of wands and reverse Jupiter energy. Oh, yeah, you're just you're not wanting to bring attention to it. You're not trying to shine light on this, whatever's going on inside of you. You're not trying to shine light on it. You're not trying to draw attention to yourself. If anything, you're trying to be quiet about this. Like very, very quiet. Very, very quiet. And whatever this bad investment was, Sag, you're not a failure. Let me just say that. You're not a failure. Some of you feel like you're a failure. You're not a failure. I understand why you feel that way because you either didn't fail to see whatever was going on in the situation or the other person. You almost feel, you almost blame yourself because it's like, I should have seen the outcome of this. Sag, you can't see everything. We can't see everything. I was talking to somebody. I was saying this to somebody recently. Uh, like, as psychic and intuitive as I am, I I can't see everything, right? <laughs> I can't foresee everything. I can't I can't hear everything. Um, and that's the way it's supposed to be. I mean, if we could see and hear everything, life would be so boring. 
it'd be so boring. Um, and we wouldn't learn our lessons either. We would not learn our lessons. So Sag, don't beat yourself up. Don't beat yourself up. Temper yourself. Okay. <laughs> Just temper the temper. Okay. <laughs> temper the temper. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope you guys find this to be very helpful and insightful. Don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo and check that out. And I will see you guys later. Have a really great November. Fire signs. See ya. Bye. Namaste.